Welcome back to Red Raider Weekly. Well, last Wednesday, the Red Raiders began a string of six consecutive home games at the United Spirit Arena. First up was the moving Mavericks of UT Arlington. Let's take a look. We pick it up around the 16-minute mark of the first. Mike Singletary corrals one of his three steals and pushes it up court to Brad Reese on the break. The senior finishes at the other end with a layup to take the early 4-2 lead. David Tyru with six points in the game here, part of an 8-0 run with a man in his face. He drains the contested three for a 10-2 advantage with 13 to play in the opening frame. The Red Raiders in transition here off the UTA turnover. Waylon Roberts surveys the floor and dishes to John Robertson on the wing for the spot-up jumper and knocks it down. The senior was 2-4 of four from the floor in the first half. But the visitors put a run together, taking their only lead of the game as LaMarcus Reed connects on this three-pointer to cap a 7-0 run. Mavs on top, 13-12. Brad Reese says, anything you can do, I can do better, as he answers with a three of his own from the far corner to regain the lead 15-13 to 13 with just under nine to play. Tech shot 60% from beyond the arc in the first half. Here, Wally Dunn with a dribble penetration and swing pass to wide open Tyru, spotting up in the near corner for three, nothing but net. Now Tech on defense, Dunn picks off the entry pass and from his back leads the charge up court. Robert Lewandowski makes the extra pass and Reese converts from downtown for three of his team high nine first half points. Texas Tech in the midst of a 10-0 run. The Red Raiders with 17 points off Maverick turnovers in the half. Later, Dunn gets involved on the other end. Robertson with one of his five first half assists and Wally knocks down the tray for the 27-19 lead. Bradley Gay led the Maverick offense with 14 points. Here, the open three-pointer makes it a four-point game with just under three to play. But the Red Raiders respond. Robertson drops the dime to Paul Cooper in the low post. And the junior with a high percentage finish for two of Tech's 28 points in the paint. Red Raiders on top, 32-24. to Texas Tech with 10 first-half helpers. Here, Dunn makes the extra pass to a wide-open Robertson on the near wing for the three with time running out. Now Tech in transition off of the UTA turnover. Robertson with a lob pass to Singletary on the wing and the easy layup as the horn sounds. The Red Raiders on a 9-0 run and lead 37-24 and drain the break. Second half now, Reese gets the baseline feed from Lewandowski and converts the layup off the glass and in the Florida product with his first double-double of the year with 15 points and 16 rebounds. The Red Raiders out-rebounded the Mavericks 45-34. Here's Robertson's three-point attempt. Rattles out, but Jay Crockett is there to clean up the mess and one. The freshman with six points and two boards on the night. Tech takes its largest lead of the night at 23. Cooper with a nice up and under move and gets the bucket to fall. 51 to 28 with just over 14 to play. Reese with his only assist of the game, but Crockett takes full advantage of the pretty pass down low and finishes with the glass rattling slam. The Clovis product with all six of his points in the second half. But there was no quit in the Mavericks. Jordan Reeves cuts the deficit to 10 with his putback dunk. 55 to 45 with eight to play. Lewandowski with some nice footwork in the post. He splits the defenders and sinks the hook over the seven-footer for two of his 12 points. Back in transition, Lou converts again. Robertson with a perfectly placed pass, and the six-foot-ten junior shows the soft touch off the glass and in. 59 to 45, Tech on top. D-Wave puts the finishing touches on the game. Robertson finds the senior on the baseline for the acrobatic layup and one as the Red Raiders take the victory over Texas Arlington. Texas Tech improves to 6-6 six and six on the season. 73-56 to 56 is your Wednesday night final from the United Spirit Arena. After the break, we'll check in with head coach Pat Knight to get his thoughts on his team's 17-point win over UTA. More Red Raider Weekly coming up next. At Plains Capital Bank, we believe in Texas Tech University. That's why we have made it a priority to support Texas Tech for over 20 years. We've proudly contributed to the Jones Stadium expansion, the new Rawls College of Business, the United Spirit Arena, and the Merkitt Alumni Center expansion. We also created the Plains Capital Presidential Endowed Scholarship. Because at Plains Capital Bank, we know the Red Raiders have the momentum to succeed. <laughs> UMC is the primary teaching hospital for the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. The partnership between UMC and Texas Tech places us at the forefront of medical training and knowledge. It's a place where a team of professionals is committed to your care. As a teaching hospital, UMC is here for you today while training the doctors and nurses of tomorrow. It's my school. It's my team. It's our hospital. 
Hey, college sports fans, since 1993, the crowning achievement in college athletics has been the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. Learfield Sports has teamed with college athletic directors in USA Today to honor the very best athletic programs in the country across all divisions. Year after year, student athletes, their coaches and leaders compete for the Learfield Sports Directors Cup by pursuing excellence. Follow your school's ranking all season long at thedirectorscup.com. 